Okay, so now we're going to go over uh, SOA exam number four, question number four. Let me get my pencil out. Okay, so it says John borrows 10,000 for 10 years at an annual effective interest rate of 10%. He can repay this loan using the amortization method with payments of 1,627.45 at the end of each year. Instead, John repays the 10,000 using a sinking fund that pays an annual effective interest rate of 14%. The deposits to the sinking fund are equal to 1,627.45 minus the interest on the loan and are made at the end of each year for 10 years. Okay, well, at first, when I tried to approach this problem, I did not know what was going on. I didn't even know what a sinking fund was. But this concept is going to reappear in questions on the exam, or at least I have a feeling it will. Okay, so the first thing that we need to talk about is what is a sinking fund? Well, a sinking fund is known to be a fund containing money set aside or saved to pay off a debt or a bond. A company that issues debt will need to pay that debt off in the future, and the sinking fund helps to soften the hardship of a large outlay of revenue. So basically, a sinking fund is basically a convenient fund that we use that kind of spills out a portion of money every year. So we could finance some things in a company, for example, instead of just uh, spewing out a huge outlay of money. So that means that when we're thinking of sinking fund, we're dealing, we're thinking of future values. Uh, it is never a present value thing. So now, since we know that sinking fund is a future value concept, we are able to see what they're talking about. So the deposits to the sinking fund are equal to 1,627.45 minus the interest on the loan. So what is the interest on the loan? Well, since John is borrowing this amount, that means that 10,000 is the loan at an effective interest rate of 10%. So we'll do 10,000 times 10%, which is 1,000. Okay, so the payments are equal to this minus interest, so we do one six two seven point forty five minus a thousand, and then we get six twenty seven forty five, which means that the sinking fund is payments of 627.45, the future value of it, that's an S, sorry, the future value of this amount is 10 years that pays an annual effective interest rate of 14%. Now, we want to solve this amount of sinking fund towards the end of 10 years. So we're going to have to use our TVM calculator in this case. So I would input uh, negative 627.45 as the payment, uh, 10 as the number of years, 14 as the interest rate, zero as present value, we compute the future value, and we get 12,133.19. Now, since 
we've calculated the balance in the sinking fund after 10 years, we also know that by the end of 10 years, we, also, we are able to repay the amount of the loan fully. So again, the amount of the loan is 10,000. So we have, we calculated this part, okay, immediately after repayment of the loan. Well, why did we set up the sinking fund in the first place? To finance this loan. So we take this amount minus 10,000 loan that we have to pay off. And we end up getting 2133.19. So now, uh, and that means that we still have some amount of money left from the sinking fund, and that is. I guess one of the beneficial characteristics of a sinking fund as well. One is that you don't have to uh, pour out a huge outlay of money at one time. And two, you have yourself covered every year since it kind of grows every year. And after you have the repayment of loan, you still have some uh, money to spare. So now we'll look at the answer choices here. We know that this one is out, this one's out. Nowhere close to here. We're in between these two, but I'd say that my answer is closest to A. So this is the answer.